and welcome to this short video demonstration of the Future Sound System Spectral Devastator processing some external audio to the modular synthesizer. I'm currently running some loops from Ableton Live through the Expert Sleepers ES3 through one of the Thonk passive attenuators into the inputs of the Spectral Devastator. First, let's listen to the low pass, pre high pass via the normaling switch. For those of you who haven't already guessed, this is a Lin LM1 sample set. And as you can hear, at low resonance and at a low input level, we've got a fairly gentle filtering. But let's start to bring up the input level and really drive the filter. Here we really get a very crunchy kind of low end of the uh, filtering range. And this is only then uh, excited even more by the resonance. What we can then do is use the normaling switch to bring in the high pass filter before the low pass. Note that this will add an extra gain stage, so our filtering will become even more crunchy. So really we are now hearing a lot of distortion from the spectral devastator and this is very useful for making uh, some quite soft clip sounds, very chaotic and uh, distorted as you can hear right now. We can kind of rein in the madness by flipping the normaling switch back. Let's have a listen to the high pass on its own by changing the output jack. The resonance tends to be a bit more severe on the high pass, kicking in at around 12 o'clock at the low end of the cutoff range. Again, we can change the input jack and use the normaling switches to put the low pass before the high pass. Now let's change our source material. I've got the Apache brake lined up at the same tempo.
We can use the spare output of the low pass filter to then cross modulate the high pass. And I've also got a tip top stackable on the high pass output at the moment, which I'll then cross over to the low pass CV as well. What this then allows us to do is introduce further non-linearities by modulating the cutoff frequency with the filtered audio itself. Thank you.